Today we'll be talking about Trex Marlin 7, the 2020 edition. This is a 29er since it's a medium large size frame. It's been a month since I've bought it, didn't get to ride it much though, but I'll share all the pros and cons that I feel this bike has. First of all, let's talk about the frame. This is an alpha silver aluminum frame, pretty light and sturdy. It has internal cable routings and is dropper post ready. The bike has Shimano Altus as the front derailleur and Shimano Acera as the rear derailleur. The RockShox fork with 30mm stanchions and 100mm travel works well. It has a turnkey lockout system and a preload adjuster and it's a coil fork. I'll show you the fork's performance later. The bike has Shimano MT200 as the hydraulic brakes and 180mm front rotor and 160mm rotor in the rear. The bike comes with a 720mm bond dragger aluminum alloy handlebar and the grips screw on. The stem is called a blender stem and is compatible with several mounts. Bond dragger connection rims are double walled and are suited for Presta valves. These are the Bontrager XR2 tires, and sorry if they're dirty, couldn't get all the mud off of the tire. This is the Bontrager Arvada seat, and to be honest, this is a bit too firm. The pedals are not so good, I'll upgrade it later. Now I'll show you the functioning of the drivetrain. The shifts almost never miss, and are very smooth. By the way, the hub sounds dope. The hub can accommodate an 8, 9 or 10 speed cassette. Now we'll test the fork. The fork functions perfectly but I'd limit the use of this fork to light trails and mostly XC rides or races. This fork would excel in these situations. Now let's talk about the elephant in the room. This bike looks amazing and I love the color. But the bike does have cons. First problem is with the Bontrager Arvada seat. It's uh, way too firm. But it depends on your taste. If you like a seat uh, that is firm, then well and good. But if not, then I'd suggest you to buy a softer one. Uh, and another problem is that this is the lowest the seat post will go. Maybe it's because of these bottle cage nuts and this slightly bent uh, seat tube. But uh, this can prove to be problematic at times, like uh, while going downhill or riding down a technical trail. The problem is this pedal. I don't quite like this nylon pedal. It came with these uh, toe clips and uh, I'd suggest you to get a better and grippier pedal. Uh, something like a uh, metallic pedal with some spikes in it. I've seen a few reviews and people didn't seem to like this grip. This is a Bontrager clip, uh, screw on grip. Uh, I personally didn't have any problems with it and these are quite grippy. If you like, you can upgrade them to a pullover grip. Lastly, this Bontrager XR2 tire, these are 2.20 uh, inches in width. Um, I'd like it to be a bit wider, but uh, considering uh, this bike as an XC bike, these tires are pretty good. But obviously, we can upgrade it to a better tire. I hope this review was helpful to you. If you have any questions, ask in the comment down below. Thank you and keep riding.